Kirk Hammett's t-shirt. I'm not gonna lie. And just, you know, and a friend, sure, but Metallica was one of the main influences of Death Angel, period. And I saw Kirk with the shirt and I was like, Discharge, wow, what's that? And I thought, I gotta check that out. I checked it out, hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. And then after that, I went to record stores and eventually I had every one of the singles before, you know, I got, of course I bought the vinyl, but I had all the 45s, D-Control. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, I, I, I love that band. There's, um, <laughs> Interestingly enough, you know, we all fell in love with them too. And uh, Rob, in our high school, we had a silk screening class and Rob made um, Never Again t-shirts. Uh, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I did other bands, not Discharge. And eventually we all had Never Again shirts. Rob put Never Again on the back of his leather vest. We thought we were so hard having Discharge stuff and nobody really had that. And the, the um, especially the cover for Never Again. That image was really striking and you know, it's just like, just stark, but like something about it just like, had such attitude so and and discharge had such attitude and their music was so hard like to us like back then especially so they're a huge influence and um yeah i mean we just wanted to we didn't sell any of that stuff now it was just for our own personal wear and to look cool and like be the only guys with that stuff because it, it wasn't really easy to find discharge shirts and merch and stuff you know so yeah it was one of, till this day that was one of my favorite designs and um, if anything, our new album cover kind of, that's a little bit an influence to, to us with the, just like the, the, the one color kind of thing and just like real stark image and just kind of a striking single image kind of thing, like black and white kind of look. So um, yeah, big influence for us. And so yeah, I bootlegged those fucking things. Not only from their intensity as a band, but I thought, you know, it was just, yeah. It, it just grabbed me in every way, from vocals to lyrics, everything. The packaging of all their records, phenomenal. And they always had um, um, just amazing concepts from, from, and children, and children, you know? I mean, it, it, it just goes on. They were just spot on. So our first promo kit that went out that we sent to all the labels with the Killers One demo, um, in the promo package, each member had their own bio. And in my bio, it said uh, influences, and my influences then were, you know, the people I put down for vocal influences were Ronnie James Dio. Um, let, me get, let me get this straight. It was Ronnie James Dio, uh, Lips from Anvil, uh, John Gallagher from Raven, and Cal from Discharge. Ain't no feeble bastard. No fucking scapegoat! <laughs> Rich and better.